Welcome to the video that no one asked for, but I'm doing it anyway. Hi, so this video I will be comparing iMovie and Splice to see which one is better. Because this isn't a tutorial, I won't go into too much depth about both of the apps. I'll just think you know a bit about both. Okay, let's go back to the video. The first topic to address is pricing. iMovie is free and comes with Apple, but Splice is also free, but it gives you the chance to pay for more options to edit with. It will also give you a free trial for 7 days. If you want to pay, the price is £2.79p a week. Next topic is ratings. <laughs> iMovie has 4 stars with 14,000 ratings and voted 31st on photo and video apps. Now let's compare that with Splice. Splice has 4.6 stars and 29,000 ratings, and voted number 12 on photo and video apps. Now Splice obviously has more options, but I'm addressing this from a person who doesn't want to pay. <laughs> Accessibility. Both work without Wi-Fi, but at first glance it seems like Splice doesn't. iMovie also has simpler controls, so it's easier to learn. I was annoyed when I found out that Splice doesn't support green screen, split screen, or picture in picture, whereas iMovie does. So just bear that in mind if you want to use them. Splice to me looks more professional. I also think that Splice has a longer waiting time. Okay, now the main event. What I did find a little annoying is that Ken's burn and to detach audio you need to pay for, when I can just hop over to iMovie and do it there. Splice allows you to add fonts and create your own, which I like as I'm not limited to the ones on iMovie. Splice also offers a cool glitch effect, but you have to be subscribed to use that without watermarks. It allows you to reverse your video, crop your video, and so much more and like 50 options just to do with text. If you want to stay free, I recommend both Splice and iMovie. Splice still has plenty to offer, and for the odd bits like detaching audio files, that's where iMovie comes in. But for the people who don't mind paying, well, I have to go with Splice. When you subscribe, it gives you a lot more options than iMovie does. But if you want accurate and more freedom with your editing, then still splice. But for those green screen lovers, keep iMovie in your back pocket. Now the most important question is, how did I edit this video? Well, iMovie. I'm still learning the controls of splice. Thanks for listening, stay safe, Random Rocket out. This egg is deformed like me.